Welcome back to Top Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'd like to, to discuss what exactly happened when you don't change your brake fluid. First thing I'd like to explain is that brake fluid is hydroscopic, meaning that it has the ability to absorb moisture from the air. When you don't change your brake fluid, you have too much moisture in the brake system. All it takes is 3% of moisture in your brake system to reduce the brake fluid boiling point by 100 degrees. As you can see in this chart, I have the USA minimum standards when it comes to boiling point. Basically, I have the dry boiling point and the wet boiling point. Dry boiling point is the minimum boiling point when it comes to brake fluid free of moisture. And wet boiling point is the minimum, minimum Fahrenheit when it comes to moisture in a brake fluid. So the question is, why is boiling point extremely important? So basically boiling point is when the brake fluid gets so hot to the point it starts to boil over. When it starts to boil over, it can cause issue in the brake system and cause many components to start to overheat. Some of the components that may not work properly are the brake caliper, wheel cylinder, ABS pump, and other components in the ABS system and the brake system. The main reason why you want to change your brake fluid is number one, is to prevent corrosion in the brake system caused by moisture buildup. And number two, because of moisture buildup, it can cause the, uh, the boiling point to be reduced. Again, that would also cause your brake system to overheat. So corrosion is detrimental to your brake system. It can cause components not work properly. For example, what I have here is a wheel cylinder and if right here is full of corrosion caused by buildup of moisture in the system, it can prevent the piston operation from plunging outward when it needs to. So by having too much corrosion in the system, it can also cause buildup in the hydraulic lines and the brake lines. It can cause the ABS pump to fail prematurely and so on. In addition, when components starts to rust, it can cause leak in the brake system. For example, you can have the uh, brake caliper piston to become extremely rusted and the seal around it starts to crack, become brittle and it will cause a leak. The same thing also applies to wheel cylinder. And lastly, if you notice that the master cylinder, the brake caliper, wheel cylinder, the ABS pump, all of these components are not working properly, maybe it is time to change your brake fluid. So if you're one of those guys that don't really want to keep it with maintenance, the least you can do is get yourself a turkey baster and you can suck the uh, brake fluid out of the uh, master cylinder reservoir and get as much brake fluid out and top it out with fresh brake fluid. You can repeat this process a few times and it'll make your job a much lot easier to change your uh, brake fluid. And the good thing is that you don't have to bleed the system because not, you're not really opening the system. All you're doing is just removing some brake fluid and adding it back in into the master cylinder reservoir. I hope you find this video educational. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs and give a like.